Winning is fun. You're right. Winning is fun. You're right. Losing, not fun. You're right. Winning is fun. Winning is fun. So I don't have much fun these days, especially yeah, I mean, when yeah. I play Mario. That's why we're, that's why we're behind the desk. Mm-hmm. Our uh, pursuits are strictly for science now. <laughs> if I was still in the tournament, I would be out over there in the pool area. Nice. Oh, what the interesting. Oh, here we go. Wow, that was an odd cross-up, but Ricky able to wow. correct himself. And then an ambiguous dive kick taking round one very solidly. Like we said, it only seems to be Ricky, Justin, and Flo who can still make Rufus look extremely effective. Like, nobody uses him anymore. Nobody except for those three. Yeah. Nice patience from Ricky, just blocking. Uh, ooh. Okay, okay. Get some good damage off of that EX Galactic Tornado. Wow, I just caught him with low fears. Not, not that time, didn't do it. Ooh, Ricky almost did the Ricky specialty. Jump roundhouse in the EX Snake Strike. Might have even killed him. But here he has the opportunity. Stayed in front. Okay, good uppercut from Tokido. Good blocks there by Ricky. Blocking that cross-up fi uh, fireball after the knockdown. Ooh, he went for a frame trap. Didn't quite get it. Now, no. will Tokido try to teleport out? No. Nope. Gonna stay solid. He's waiting for EX Messiah from Ricky because he's going to try to ultra to him if he can block the first part of EX Messiah. So Ricky has to be really careful not to use it. I hope that's something Justin's telling him, like don't use EX Messiah at this point. So what happens? If you if he does an EX Messiah, you can just, as soon as you block the whole first part, you can do Ultra 2 and it'll be all three options. Nice. At least that's the, that's the prevailing theory. That's what I've been told. That's why Akuma players use Ultra 2 versus Rufus. But uh, you know, most since most Rufus players, aka these three guys here, know that, you almost never get to see that used because they're smart enough not to do the EX Messiah. So I haven't really seen it in use. Oh. Okay, that's good trade for Ricky. He'll take that. Keeps Akuma out, which is the important part. Nice. Using low strong, probably tapping low strong, low jab, and low short for the anti throw and anti dive kick. Oh, Ricky got out! Okay, smart not to use that ultra because it probably wouldn't have reached. Okay, again, trade, he'll take that. Oh, wow, I like that stand fierce. Keep him from jumping. Good block from Tokido. Oh, he wow. got hit! Oh, and then the low jab, smart stuff. Okay, he should be able to finish him off now, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Ricky opting not to do the EX Messiah kick to get out of trouble right there. Yeah. Preserving his meter for the next round. Uh oh. Nice. Fake whiff, low short. Get him with that throw. EX Messiah just to get out of that situation. Oh, nice. Oh, but a great uppercut from Tokido. The Ricky probably could have blocked that, but I think on that whiff dive kick, he was just trying to do something. That now here so we're, we're in the situation we talked about earlier where Kuma has to make a choice whether he's going to teleport out or he could just go, oh wow. Oh, big damage. And using the jab uppercut so he has that kind of setup and he knocks him dizzy. Wow. See, the fierce uppercut does more damage, but he gets less frame advantage because he flies so high up in the air. When he juggles after the short hurricane with the jab uppercut, he gets way more frame advantage and he gets that mix-up that you saw him use for the empty jump and right. caught him low. Yeah, sometimes the expected damage that you can get if the rest of your setup works out better, uh, works out is better than getting the guaranteed damage yeah. of a high damage move that doesn't put you in such an advantageous position afterwards. Exactly. Nice. Good sweep, hard knockdown. And we just got Ultra 2. Ooh, he, he basically sniffed out that the roundhouse follow-up on the EX Messiah. Oh, he was right. He guessed it right, but he, he just did reason, it too early. Or yeah, something. the dive kick didn't hit, and he manages to just catch Tokido by surprise. Is Akuma dead? Nope, no. Still alive. Okay. Don't do so EX is he Messiah. Teleport? Oh wow. Nope. He was hoping Ricky was gonna touch a button there, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ricky, like, Ricky looked at Justin and was like. Pfft. Yeah, because I think he was about to low fierce. He yeah. was just about to low fierce, and Rick and uh, Tokido just canceled a little too early. 
All right, so both, I'm sorry, Ricky at match point. Good uppercut from Tokido. I gotta imagine this is winner's bracket. This has gotta be the winner's final of their pool. Oh, wow. Nice uh, low short to get out of the cross up. Now will Akuma teleport? No. Nice uppercut there. Just figured Ricky wasn't gonna get that combo to work. Uh oh, Ultra 2? Oh, baits, okay. Yeah, see, Tokido baits him to burn all his yeah. meter. Yeah. So, so it, it's a true block string if you follow up with the light kick follow up as fast as possible. And so he had to do the light kick follow up FADC to prevent getting Ultra 2. Right. But it did get him out of trouble. Yep. And he still has this ability to take this. Ooh, that was so close. If Ricky knew that that wasn't going to hit, he could have punished. All it's going to take is oh, one opening. Oh, he got there him! Is. Don't right. kick right past that wow. low forward kick. And Ricky takes it, sending Tokido to losers. Yep, he will be awaiting now. whoever comes out of losers bracket for losers finals. Yeah, so now Tokido is going to have to fight. 